Welcome to the world of DayZ, where the average person will spend hours and hours running inland, looting up, just to die and run all the way inland again. Well, not for me. Where are we off to today, boss? Um, how about Tizzy Military Base? You got it, boss. And I introduce you to Frog Taxi Service, where we drive clients all throughout Janaris, whether it's your base, a trader, or even back to the fight. Wherever you need us, we're there. Yes, you're seeing this right. We started a taxi business in Day Z, but I can't even begin to explain what happened this time. So let me just take you from the very beginning. All right, so this is where it begins. This is this is where it begins. I spawned in where the best businesses start, Berezino, and I began running inland to group up with my friend who was already in the server. Yeah, do you want to take like uh, the left side or the right? Yeah, we can. We, we'll just get enough food so we can get inland, and then that's when we can start like properly looting, bro. If you want, like, we want to get to airfield and stuff, Tizzy, if we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we find the best guns. We just got to get enough loot to sell, and then we can buy base supplies. True. All right. Well, we better get running inland. He, I, I got him down. I got him down. He's unconscious. Yes. The Mosin, I'm grabbing. I'll keep a lookout. Okay, we can keep heading up to Cave Rebellion. Okay, I'm sneaking up. Yeah, you go ahead. Sneaky, sneaky. Okay, I'm running. I'm making a break. I'm making a run for it. Making a break for it, yeah. Shit! Oh my god, M14, M14. Yes, another M14 I got. Another M14. Oh my god, M32 mag. This looks like a grenade launcher or something. That was good. Now we're just going to get to uh, the black market. Six kilometers! <laughs> you were flying them for no reason. After looting one of the best military locations, we headed to sell our weapons at the black market. Yep, it is a safe zone. I'm here. Nice. So we went to the specific trader to sell all of our highest tier weapons. And not this trader this time. Guys, we've got 200. We can. You start off with 250k each. Do you? Oh, really? Yeah. So we can get a car, drive it down, and we can get started if you want. Yeah, we'll do it. You buy a car. Just... Hey, hey. He's in, yeah. Full squad. Let's go. <laughs> And that's how it started. We found the ideal server, we purchased the fastest car, gathered all the base supplies, and now we needed a location to run this business. A location so perfect where we could transport cars in and out with ease, but also with a fairly straight road taking us far inland. And then of course, I remembered that northern road that goes all the way through the north, connecting nicely to the first city on the coast. Savet. Okay, we've arrived. I guess this is where we're gonna park for now until we can work out. Do you know what? Yeah, this built this this mine should be a really good spot. You drive down here and you're straight onto the main road. Yeah. Go for one of these blue double doors. I say these. Yeah, I say these. I mean, you're right. Try and move the car in here then. Yeah, you can do. Um, let's, fill it, let's fill it up with some logs while we're over there. We decided on a building to run the business, so now it was time to gather the logs and planks to begin the building. Okay. Got a gun. He's looking for us. He is. I, I shot. I had to shoot. He's dead. Two guys shooting us! Two guys shooting us! From same spot! You're gonna hear them shoot in a sec. 
Down the train tracks from me. Down the train tracks from me. Hit once, hit once. I'm dead. One time. He's dead. Get back quick. Okay. Was it only one? Yeah. Just when we thought we'd cleared the town, another group showed up. Oh, shots. Yeah, do you? Think. Oh, they're aiming for me. Yeah, yeah. I'm dead from behind, from behind. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they killed me. Lovely. They just shot it open. I might be fucked. Pushing, I'm pushing. You need to come right now. Hit one. One dead. Hit one hard. I'm dead. That's it. All gone. Fuck this game. <sighs> well, I don't know. I just can't do anything. Off I had a fucking double barrel. Yeah, man, I'm getting off of the day. I'm not. I don't want to do that, really. Mm. I don't know about anyone else, but I was just lagging so much. I'm not afraid to admit it. We failed on the very first day. We felt pretty pathetic and just got off for the day. I mean, running a taxi business with all the powerful clans running this server, I doubt we'd even last our first few hours. Us dying there might have just been a signal for us to stop before we waste more time. And maybe this taxi idea was just stupid. Well, stupid or not, we continued the following day with a new approach, and this time we'd be a little more prepared. With the little bit of money I had left, along with some guns I had to sell, we bought a new car and the base supplies needed. All right. Pretty get, bad get, get what you need. I'm looking like the. Mo I can't think I'm in looking more of a taxi. Maybe more of like a terrorist taxi. Okay, I'm going. By the way, I've got concrete mortar on me. Home. All right, so let's just go out for a PvP run, but also looking for nails. So you know, just build up guns and stuff, but also see if we can get some nails and uh, finish fortifying. Of course, any box of nails we see, we gotta grab. Yeah. And check, uh, check outdoor toilets as well, it's good for mm. nail spawns. We were in need for both nails for our base and weapons to sell, so we checked for nails while on our way to PvP at the Northeast Airfield. On me, on me, hit once. Hit again, is he dead? Yeah, yeah, he killed him, he killed him. Hit again once. Um, I'm dead, yeah. I got one tap. I've been tapped for I'm dead as well, I just got tapped from behind. So the other guy's still alive. Oh yeah, they're both alive here. Yeah, he's flanked all the way behind. Yeah, I'm dead. He flanked all the way around. The guy's a really good player. What was his name? Old. Old Dirty Killer. Old Dirty Killer. Now remember that name, because you'll be seeing a lot of his name later on. The next day, not much happened. We looked around for nails and building tools, but Dirty Stank, my teammate, told me about a group of guys building in our town, and they killed him. So they're in the church. Uh, the left side of the church, they are, yeah? I see him, I see him. Damn it, he got me, he got me. Okay, they're both dead, dude. I'm ready to go in you off. We just gotta get these nails out of here. Like, I got so many boxes of nails now. 
with all the loot we could carry, including a bunch of nails, which by the way are a very rare commodity that you can only find and can't buy. We took them back to our base and stored them away. And I'm pretty sure that was it for the day. Oh, sorry. My mistake. There was one pretty important thing that we would need for this business, and that would be more cars. We went on a massive loot run checking airdrops, looting military areas, finding C4 along with tons of weapons, and we went back to that black market to sell up and invest in cars, which we drove back to our base in Savette. We then set up the blueprint for our office area, and that's how the second day ended. <sighs> now we were doing pretty well, but four days to get to this point, too slow for me. We were going to need extra associates, so I put out a message requesting the best drivers in Chinaris. So I continued my day like normal, doing a slow loo run up to Tizzy to make a bit of extra cash to buy some more vehicles. And would you believe it? For some odd reason, people wanted to join us, and even brought us a helicopter. The office was also almost complete, and we were getting closer and closer to launch. This is looking really good. Yeah? <laughs> what do you think? It looks really nice. Man, this is gonna be epic. Alright. Mission complete, baby. How many cars we got? Ooh! Oh man, this is so fucking epic. <laughs> oh. Can, oh, can someone on. fly me to... Or can someone come with me to the trader? What do you need, man? Uh, we need... Um, hacksaws, hatchets, sharpening stones if they've got them. Okay. Yeah. Um, that works. Here you go. He's on the floor, man. I'd hop by that. Oh, shoot! Oh, we're getting shot at. Oh, get shot at. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. I'm, we're getting ambushed. We're getting ambushed. I'm going to die. I've got the... Are you oh. in? Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. It's open. It's open. Close it. I'm gonna need that. I'm nearly dead as well. Guys, we're gonna oh. need help back at base. Yeah. No surprise, we were ambushed and attacked by taxi wannabes. Well, eventually they bugged off, and we were able to continue working on building up the base, doing loot runs, and anything else necessary for our launch tomorrow. Now to find us some loyal customers. But who could that be? It's got to be an active player or group that does a lot of PvP. Ah, uh, yeah, this guy. Now, what was his name again? Old Dirty Killer. Perfect. Okay, so I've sorted out a deal with uh, one of the guys on the survey. He's called Old Dirty Killer. He wants to uh, he wants to meet now. He said we go to Clen Trader. Okay, he's going to fly us in his helicopter to his base, and then we can talk. Okay, but I need two of you to come with me. Oh, so well, I'm coming with you, 100. I'll be there. We're going to have to drive. Well, can we drive there to get there quickly? We need to get there pretty quickly. We can just lock yeah, the car. I mean, I'm at Clen now. I'm at Clen Trader. You're at Clen Trader now. Okay, Lewis, let's drive. Oh, let me drive there. So the meeting point was set. The closest trader, Clen. And we drove over there very eager to sort out a deal with who we worked out to be the best PvPer on the server. I was getting kind of nervous, I'm not going to lie. But I knew that this could be big for us. Okay guys, I just want to say, wherever we, uh, wherever we go, wherever we do our business, we got to stay in the car, basically. And we, sh we don't shoot people. We never get involved in fights. That's one of the rules, okay? You just drive the car. You take the you take the climb from A to B. And that's all your job is. That's all you do, you know? Yeah, yeah. The, client, the client always comes first. I hear Helen. That's them. That's them. We got a Huey. Them? Yeah. Okay. Yo. Right, we can, we can talk here if you want. Or we can, we can do it at your base. You're cool, man. I don't mind. We can go for a walk around the map. 
Alright. So, as you saw, you know, we're running a taxi service. We're going to be running along the coast. Our main area is going to be in Civet. But we'll have people in Berezino and maybe some in Electra as well, depending on where you PvP. Payment we can sort and we can explain to you later on. But, um... You'll know it's us. We'll be wearing the yellow helmets. You know the yellow safety helmets? Okay, if you see that, that's how you know it's us. We're going to take any clients we can get. If it's going to be you, it might even be your enemy. Who knows? But we stay in the car at all times. We don't get out to fight. We don't do that. We just stay in the car. We drive the person from A to B. And that's all we do. Um, is this something you could be interested in? Yes. Our very first customer in the business. Old Dirty Killer. Also, even if you need, like, uh, help, mm. or if you are getting attacked or anything, I assure you that you will have the best protection from us. A successful negotiation. An old dirty killer flew off high, back to his base, awaiting our grand opening. But we must have been talking pretty loudly because another massive clan called NDC seemed very interested too, leaving us now with two groups to work with. Welcome to Frog Enterprise, your favorite go-to taxi service. Why should you spend ages running all the way inland when you can get a taxi taking you back there in just minutes? Here's just one of our many happy clients. No, no, don't look at me. Just read the script, okay? All right, let's try again. Oh, oh, the Frog Taxi Service, open now. All right, that's it. I think we're ready. Let's get everyone prepared, and how about we start this taxi business? What's up, boys? Hello. Where do you guys need to go? Uh, yeah? Okay, we can drive you that, yeah. Let's make it brighter while we got time. We are people that make it happen. You All right, guys. We're here at the black market. I'll be waiting here, right? My first taxi run went pretty much perfectly, and I realized how much potential this business had. But we had a long way to go. Oh my God. Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry, that's my colleague. Yeah. There you go, boys. You're free to go. Thank you very much. No problem. Good luck with your base building, and uh, you know what to ask. Join the d message in the general chat, guys, and I'll respond to your DM you. And uh, if you ever need any service, you know what to ask. There we go, babe. Let's get out there. <gasps> oh shit! Go, 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 go. You okay? I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> so far, no problems. And all drivers were doing well. Until... Good news and bad news, boys. What happened? Bad news is, we lost the car. Okay. Aww. Good news is, customer got there safe, and he paid. What the hell happened to the car? Fucking flipped and shit itself. Come on, driving can't be that bad. What the? F Hello. It, maybe it's not that easy. We're not in the water, are we? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're in the water. Well. Right. And this was my introduction to car lag in Day Z. Now to summarize day one, yes, many, many happy customers, more than I could have ever hoped for. For hours and hours, half a dozen of our drivers constantly driving around the map, we didn't have a chance to take a break, because as soon as we would arrive back at base, another guy would need a lift. I mean, this taxi business had an incredible response. We were so busy driving, getting such good feedback, and groups actually trusted us. Some even letting us right inside of their bases. 
But along with our great day of driving people, it definitely came with troubles. Like you saw earlier, we really underestimated the car lag in day Z. Oh shit! Okay, hold on, we're gonna need another pickup. To put it blunt, we lost a shitload of cars on the first day. But the customer still comes first and a replacement car would come and the customer would still get to his destination. Thank you. See ya man, you know, to call if you need a taxi. So in the first day of business, we made a couple of hundred thousand rubles, but we lost half of our cars. So pretty much all revenue made that day was reinvested in the business and we had to buy new cars. But I'm confident that if we iron out these problems, this next day will be much better than the first. Okay, cool. Um, I'm gonna probably call it here, boys. That was a super, I mean, I wanna say a good start. We've learned from our mistakes, day. okay? We've learned that you know, we've got to take it a bit more carefully with uh, the driving. But we've made a good amount of profit. we got coal crackers, we've got loads of nails. we got a load of, obviously, guns that we managed to sell. And we reinvested in our company. And yeah, tomorrow will be better. Now I'm going to go to bed on my mattressless bed. <laughs> I'll sleep with you. What? No, I'm I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> so sorry. In game, we've got a bed in here. In game, I'm not talking about in real life. <laughs> anyway, that was fun. Oh no. Oh no. What is going on? What's going on? What's going on? Hello, guys. Yeah. Yo. What's going on? We just got hit. We just got raided, as in... Are they still raiding? Yeah, they're yeah. still raiding, apparently. We, they're we still were... around. Shit, I don't have a gun. They broke through the side there. Front door is open. What the hell? Okay, their code cracked in. Yeah, they... No, the money's gone. The nails are gone. So how do they get into our office at the back? Unless they didn't get into it. But then our nails were gone, so... What was taken from us? Yeah, all the keys are still here, even the heli key. Nice. The only thing I know we lost is, um... Is the money that we made, and our raid stuff. I think someone logged out with it. I'm pretty sure someone would have logged out with the stuff, right? All the cars are still here, the heli, all the keys for the cars are, st are still there. All the loot downstairs is still there. Only thing that's missing is all the loot in the office, but we it's almost impossible how they got in there because the door is still unlocked. My guess is that they broke through the front thinking that they'd open that and they'd get all the loot. And they got in and they realized, wait, all their loot is up there. So they climbed on the car and they vaulted onto this floor, found out that they couldn't get any loot and then just logged, I guess. Not long, but left. You'd think a group of players running a taxi company in DayZ wouldn't run into these problems, right? Well, I guess not, because clearly someone didn't like what we were up to, and they wanted to wipe us out. I then found out that my teammate, Oggy, logged out with everything in our office, so fortunately, we lost absolutely nothing. But this was a wake-up call, and we needed to make some upgrades. But I had to log off for most of that day, and I would return later on for the reopening of our taxi business. So you logged out with it all? Yeah. Where is it? Where do you put it back? It's all in the red locker in the bed. Good job. Wow. You guys have done- Oh my god, you've done a lot of improvements. Wow. Yeah. This is good, bro. Wow. I like it. Wow. Look at this. The boys made huge improvements to secure our taxi base so we'd at least be a bit more protected from getting raided. But no time to waste. We have a taxi business to run. I'm like a cannibal. Cannibal. I'm coming at you. Oh, in the back, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, good man. Welcome home. 
As soon as we'd arrived, we were straight back out to do more pickups. We were even busier than yesterday and making double the money. We'd also adapted our driving skills to the lag on the server and were yet to lose a car. This day was going a complete success. You know, one day I was told that to reach true success, there will always be sacrifices. And in this specific tale of running a taxi business, it couldn't have been a truer statement. Yeah, this whole taxi business, I would say was a success. But just as quickly as it became a success, it became a complication even quicker. Frog, your taxi service got a nice upgrade. What is he talking about? Who said that? Is he the guy that gave? Six rocks. Six rocks? Someone had a helicopter. Ah, he's, he gave you a he helicopter, didn't he? Did he gave us a heli? He gave us a helicopter? I don't know, did he? Let me ask Lewis. Uh, Lewis? Yo. What is he talking about in the chat? May or may not have just got another helicopter. Are you flying it now? Yeah. Oh my god, do you have a key for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why do they give you a helicopter? Because they have... Uh, I had to make a deal, okay? <laughs> What's the deal? Um... Uh, we might have to compromise one of our clients. Who? Uh... Uh... Old Dirty Killer. <laughs> he said if I drop Old Dirty Killer off near him, or we set up an ambush for them, and I get them third all dirty killer, they're gonna make us very wealthy people. The game had changed. We were given an irrefutable offer to screw over our other client, which we didn't want to do. But I don't think we had a choice. We'd already accepted their gift of a helicopter worth one million rubles, and they were prepared to make us incredibly rich and ultimately reach our goal of becoming one of the wealthiest groups on the server. We still needed to talk this through, so we went into the office to discuss. But there wasn't much to say. Lewis described this group as the most powerful on the server, with four helicopters, six cars, the best gear, and a base bigger than he'd ever seen. We sat there and concluded that there was no other option but to go through with this devious plan of theirs, and set up an ambush for our most loyal, earliest customer, Old Dirty Killer. We left office, we finished our taxi runs for the day, we returned to the base later on, and we logged off. The following day started off as usual, driving out of the base to do our first taxi run, and... Yeah. Anyway, I, along with my crew, headed out continuing to drive around the map, picking up customers and making more and more money. I wanna drop you off here, okay? Enjoy Daisy, man. Also, wait, wait, wait. Dude, can you go on YouTube and can you just type in JLK, all right, and watch his videos, okay? Okay, okay. All right, bro, thank you. As if he needs any more subs. Dude, that is exactly how I got to where I was today. You guys don't see me in my off hours. I'm going around on Daisy servers asking people to sub to my channel. Glad to go. On day 8, we had our best day yet, doing over 20 trips, making a money bag in profits. By day 9, we had made so much from the business that we were able to invest in better armor and weapons, and if we were ever killed, we wouldn't give them a chance. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him! My H! There are loads of them, loads of them! H! 
Hit one, one dead, one dead, one dead. I'm hit, I'm hit. I killed one. Definitely killed him. This gun is fully geared. Yeah, dude, these guys are loaded, bro. What the hell? And by day 10, we've mastered the whole business. Taxis upon taxis, riches upon riches, business was booming. We would do encounters trips throughout the day and would rarely lose a car. And if we did, for well, you betcha, we would hunt them down and retrieve that taxi. Oh, get low, low, get low, get low, get low! Get I'm coming! I'm coming! One dead, one dead, one dead! Yeah, 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 they're all dead, I think. They're all dead. There were two of them. Wow, that was crazy, that was. Dude, I died out of the heli! I'm gonna level with you guys. When I started this, I was expecting me and a bunch of wallads to be driving around, wasting time. But this huge venture we launched not only became massively profitable, but was the most fun I'd had in so long. Yo, fucking convoy, this is sick. Oh, I hope they learned their lesson, those guys. But this high point success we'd had recently. It blinded us. We'd almost entirely overlooked that complication I mentioned not too long ago. We received an urgent message from Six Rocks and his group, and they wanted to set up a meeting to discuss the ambush on one of our clients, Old Dirty Killer. So me, Lewis, and Augie, my two other partners, we headed over to Novi Sabor to discuss the plan of action. How do we approach this, by the way, Lewis? Um, so just pull up. Um, it's at the white barns. You'll see it. Look at the size of that thing, man. <laughs> you are kidding me, dude. That base is fucking huge, man. <clears throat> is that six? I think it's six. Oh, no way. We got our best suits on for you. Thank you. Alright, so basically, uh, we got some intel, okay? So basically, um, okay. you know your your target? RDK, yep. You might be wanting us to, you know, transport some loot for him. Um, like a big gun run to the black market trader. I thought it might be an okay. option. Yeah, that shit sure sounds good. When and where? Uh, well, we don't know yet. He said he, he, he's still gathering some supplies, but he might need us soon. So it could be today, it could be tomorrow. We don't know yet. You want, you want them to kill him or take him hostage, talk to him. Uh, maybe talk to him and then kill him. <laughs> Burlap, sack, and handcuffs and montages for the resistance discord because he likes them so much. Oh, okay. So you want to take him hostage then? And you he likes showing humiliate. off videos of his kills, so we'd like to return the favor mm -hmm. of how much we appreciate them. It's a small base. Small. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Okay. Well, um, the plan sounds good. Uh, we'll 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 um perfect the route here. Uh, whenever we have him and we're on route. I'll shoot uh, Lino a quick message, and uh, uh, you guys can get set up. We better get building yep. then. Yep. Well done, boys. Cheers for that. Take Peace out, lads. Fantastic. Fucking hell, good job, lads. Hello, hello, can you open? The following day, Old Dirty Killer wanted to do the selling run. So we headed over to discuss the plan and we told him that because of campers on the Northern Highway, 
we had to take an alternate route. Fortunately, he agreed to the plan, so we began loading up the cars filled with loot, and we got our crew prepared for our most significant taxi run ever. Okay, cool. Nash gets in there, and then... Stink again in the back. Michael. I'm locking it. Are we all in? Everyone in? Yeah? We're going to go no visa board as well as this is happening. This is it, boys. We began to approach Novi Sabor, and Lewis notified Six Rocks and his crew that the package had almost arrived. This was the moment we were waiting for. Yo, what the fuck is this, mate? Why, why, why are we stopping here? Yo, hey, hey, hey. hey. Fucking snake. We did what we were asked of, but we felt terrible. We screwed over the very guy that trusted us and had faith in us from the beginning. This wasn't right, and it wasn't fair. What just happened? Well, that's a good question. And the truth is that I've not been completely honest with you guys. So let me explain. Now, as you know, a few days ago, I was driving back to base when I found out that we were given an offer we could not decline to screw over one of our clients. So like I told you, we went into our office to discuss. And at first, <laughs> we really didn't know what to do. But the one thing we did know was that we were not going to screw over ODK. So instead of keeping secrets, we went straight to tell ODK the news, but before he could trust us, he wanted some info on the base owners who put this bounty on him. By the way, Lewis, you need to get me on the right side of it so I can get this. Oh, right side. You need to get me on the right side of it, bro. Right side of it. Should be able to see it now, right? Oh my God, that's, that's insane. I see two helis there. There we go. I just need to get a bit closer, a tiny bit closer to us. Here we go, here we go, here we go, this is it. Wow, wow. Okay, let's go. Get out of here, get out of here. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> we headed out before spotted, send the info to Old Day Killer, and yes, over the next few days, this success I was telling you all about was no lie. But behind the scenes, we were doing countless meetings or giving info to ODK. No, no problem, bro. Good luck, okay? I'll keep in contact. We'll, le we'll let you know about the thing. So, over the next few days, while doing our usual driving runs, we were sharing ideas, and eventually, by combining the best of them, we came up with the best strategy to win in this situation, and this was the gist of it. We'd make it seem like we were going along with the ambush, but Old Dirty Killer switched names and clothes with our friend, and while Six Rocks and his crew thought Old Dirty Killer was in the cage, ODK was right next to me, and when our chance came, we striked. So, what happens from here forward? <sighs> yeah, this taxi thing I thought we'd mastered might be over. I mean, you don't screw over the strongest clan on the server and get away with it. The very second we began firing, we each knew there would be consequences. Day 12. Frog taxi service was closed for the day, and we began loading the cars with everything we owned inside of our base. Holy shit, we have so much in these cars. It's, mate, they're stacked. Are they every, th every single car's got loot in it? Yeah. Like, stacked. filled with loot. Oh my lord. I got all the money, I got all the nails, I got all the... What are we doing here? What, what, what are we doing? 
<sighs> we need to set up a new base. We went off to set up a hideout base hidden away up in the north, where we'd store not only all of our money, but all of the keys to the car. So even if we get raided, they can't access our cars unless unlocked. So we returned to base with a couple of us scouting on the outside, but me, Lewis and Nash holding the base from the inside. Are they actually going to come attack? Like, maybe they don't. I don't know. I mean, we've got a pretty good spot here to hold from us. If they do mm -hmm. blow through the front. We weren't going to lose everything we'd earned without a fight. So we just waited and waited. For hours and hours, we just sat around listening out. And after a while, we started to think that maybe these guys weren't going to show up. Maybe they just gave up on us after that ambush. But that was until... Oh, players, 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 players. Where? Uh, on my tee. Loads. On my tee. Loads? Oh, over oh. there, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, six, ro six rocks yeah. in now. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, I'm dead! Oh, what? Fuck. What the fuck? NCR. Guys up on the hill. Guys up on the hill. Five shots. Hit him. You killed him. Oh, you killed him. Oh, killed nice. him. Yeah, boys. FSG, that's them. FSG. It's one one down, boys. Yeah, I got shot at. Fucking hell, they've seen you. Oh, boy. Oh, I rolled boy. and he fired. I rolled Barrett. and he shot me instantly. Oh, and one tipped. Slowly and slowly, they were chipping away at our numbers, and defending this was becoming harder and harder. That's a PKM, isn't it? Oh, I see them, I oh, see them. To my left. He's outside the base, they're all outside, there's like two people oh, outside the base right now. left. It's just us, is it literally just us in here? Us three yeah. to hold this down, oh my god. No. Fuck it. That goes lame. I think it's supposed to happen. Oh shit, it's on. I just say, boys, it's been an honor. And welcome back, boys and girls, to our ESL Pleb Plot on 2020. And as you can hear, boys and girls, that the bomb is currently down. They're going to be happy to try to... No! This <laughs> <laughs> voice is actually sick for that. This very smart is that his backpack sticking through the wall, though? Well, that is! Wait, wait! Get you ready, you ready. We'll laser in it. Three seconds, okay? Three, two, one, go! Yeah, he's dead. He has to be dead. He has to be dead. He has to be dead there. Yes, we got him! We got him! We got him! We got him, we got him, we got him. I can't reload. Wait, hold on. It's not on our main one, right? We've still got another one they got to go through, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got, they got two to get through. Oh, shit, man. Oh, shit. Did they kill someone else? No. Come on, come on. It's not going to be that one, though. Come on, be. Okay, it's not. One more. I got one more to go for. Oh shit! This is it. This is literally it. Who's shooting? Is that them? Trying to wall back me. This is literally it. This is it. This is literally it, man. A <laughs> whole business, Lewis. A whole business. It's all over. As the final gate was about to be breached, I just looked around feeling so happy for everything we'd achieved, but yet so sad that it might have all gone to waste. What's going on? I'm holding a tight angle. Yeah, he's... I must have hit him right there. Must have hit him. Good kill, good kill, good kill. Oh, oh, fuck. 
Two of them peeking, two of them peeking now. Yep, I died after a long time defending what was ours. But Lewis was still just about alive inside, and there was still some hope. We went back in attempt to take them out from the outside, and went back this raid. I killed one, killed one in base, killed one in base. Okay, okay. Nice, bro. Nice. Hold on, hold on. Where, is it, where did he get the loot? Where did he find a gun? Uh, there's dead body inside base, fully geared. I need some sort of body. Shit. Hold on. Explosion kill Frosty. Frosty. Lewis, turn up, boy. Lewis, are you good? I'm outside. I'm outside. Again, again. Run him, run him, run him, run him, run him. Clear, clear. Yeah, one dead here. They're dead, they're dead, they're dead, they're dead. Let's fucking go. They're dead. This guy's dead here. I don't know who that is. Liam ran in and he just made a massive play. Yeah, M4, M14 here, FM4. Barret. I got Barret. You got a Barret? Oh my god, I've got the juice right here. Well, after killing those last three people in the base, all enemies were dead, and somehow, we won. So, GG, boys, it's fun. It's fun, but I can't do much now. GG. GG, bro. It was official. The group abandoned the raid, but left us with so much loot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine guns on me! We secured the front of the base, looted the remaining bodies while killing some third party groups trying to get some loot. And finally, we all headed upstairs. And we all logged off for the last night. Well, this is it. This is the end. We all got on the following morning, the base was still intact, and yeah, we somehow defended the raid. There was no doubt that Six Rocks and his boys would be back, and we wouldn't be as lucky next time. We done with that business. Yeah, the taxi business is done for, dude. There's, we've been, we've been attacked once, there's no doubt they're gonna come back and tear this whole thing apart. We're gonna get out of here. We need to start a new business somewhere else. We gotta, we gotta start again. We've been compromised. The business has been compromised. All right, are we ready to go? Is everyone ready? Everyone got all their loot. Right. We're getting out of here. We're gonna go. We're gonna move to the new base. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go to the new base. We're going. Close we're it. going. Close, closely. And that's what we did. We headed to our new base, grabbed the keys along with all of our money and valuables and flew a couple of us over to the trader to buy car parts to fix the cars and for the final time we returned to base okay we're good then it's us okay everyone get in a car lewis you're gonna be the last to leave because you're a hella you can catch up with us okay you guys ready yeah yeah okay i'm gonna go out first guys you just gotta follow me all right <laughs> and that's how the story comes to a close. We'd reached riches, but had to give up everything we'd worked for to start up in new lands. I hope you enjoyed what you saw here, and if you did, why don't you let me know over on my Twitch channel.